BSF Germany bore field office according to the funded board nutrition projects by Food and Agriculture Organization FAO and implemented by BSF Germany 2000 household assessed nutritious food commodities, milk, fish, and assorted vegetable for 10 weeks, 4 days a week. According to the project's achievements, 1,992 household assessed small asset, poetry, and goat during livestock fairs. Some beneficiaries reported that they are drinking milk from their goats and eating eggs, while for others, chicken are sitting on eggs. Daniel Nodi Olang is the country program manager for BSF Germany in South Sudan. He explained in simple terms the projects and the working relationships with POW, Food and Agriculture Organization, and the government of South Sudan and Jungle State in particular. It's good to be part of this uh, show that is actually organized to try and depict and show how the project that we're about to talk about has supported the people or residents of uh, Jungle Estate, more especially Bow Town. Now, this project was actually uh, given to VSF Germany by FAO to implement in a period of one year. It started in uh, 1st September 2019 and actually ended last month, that is um, April 31st of 2019. And actually, the project was actually funded, also given the funds were given by USAID, the United Nations Aid to Development and Development. And the project has been running for the last 12 months, and a lot has really been achieved uh, through this project. I really want to say that there's been a lot of support and cooperation with VSF, with the government, uh, with the FAO, and the community at large. I want to bring across my gratitude and uh, a lot of uh, thanksgiving to those who supported us to make this uh, project a success, especially the community of uh, uh, Bor uh, who organized themselves. We had uh, the nutrition committees coming together to oversee this process, the traders coming together to oversee this process, availing the goods and services of the people who jungle were actually needy. Uh, this project actually was aimed to support those who are displaced uh, with other calamities or other situations in those in poor. In this season, uh, those who are supported with seeds, those who are supported with uh, tools, will be able to produce their own uh, food for this season. So the beneficiaries who are supported in this project, we believe that now they are a little bit self-reliant, not so much, but they are able to check off. If you compare with them, compare them with the way they were when we started the project now, they are a little bit different. What you're about to see is just a voice of the beneficiaries to show their gratitude, to show how they really benefited, and you really see exactly how these projects are supported by help them. I hope you'll enjoy it, and uh, I want to say thank you very much. I can see you know, 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 Eh, nampak tak ni jenis ni je. Kakak yang agak loy war kan kena pioj. Kakak cik alu. Kuka yang agak loy mana kan cik pioj. Enam kau biu kuanya. Eh, nampak ni jenis loy war. Kau cik nanti cia. Kau mantiu war cik wa amia je kau tu. Enam nanti cia. Main dia ku leh sukulit kan cik berman. Cik man war. Kuwa, kau cik ni tu kau nyara. กูมาได้โอ้โหว่าก็ยึดตัวเลยกูกูว่าได้กูว่าไงเป็นยังมีใครได้ยินเนี่ยยานี่นู่นว่าเขาก็จะต้องดูเลี้ยงกว่าจริ
เอ็นยาเลยกันเลยกว่าคุ้มอาจจะเป็นเอ็กคุ้มแล้วคุ้มมาหมู่ก้อนเนี่ยตีอันนั้นดูแลแม่ดีนะเอ็กชิ้นย
to look the work they are doing after we have given them all these um, seeds we are seeing how are they progressing are they still the same or are they improving now we are moving huh? in one of beneficiaries farm around me is okra I'll, as I'll, you can I'll see, see what to do. here they are having some challenges which face them in this farm. Most of the challenges are like pests that are really eating up the, the okra. You can see that lady, she's trying to chase away the pests. The pests that we don't know, them also they don't know, we are trying to, to see. That is one of the challenges they are really facing. We are both are trying. Um, other challenge is uh, water. Getting water from that near river it is not easy. Whereby there are some other things that can take away people like crocodiles, so they fear to go and fetch water from there and come and water. Them. So they need at least water pump. That's what one thing we have uh, seen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ton Chol. I work for BSF as project officer. I the projects covered three payams. Uh, whereby Makwach is one of the payam and today we are visiting one of the bombers whom we have supported. It has 45 beneficiaries. We support 45 beneficiaries from this boma, which is Madi. And uh, from the start, we gave our beneficiaries seeds, uh, a variety of seed like okra that you are seeing around. We gave them okra, uh, we, we gave them tomato, we gave them col cola seed, and we gave them uh, eggplant. And most of the farming is done around the, the, the river bank. Uh, I want to concentrate more on the partnership that we have had towards the achievement of this project. This project is funded by FAO, uh, South Sudan. It is a nutrition project that is coming to an end by the end of the month. And actually, as you can see, the impact is what we are talking about here. This group, we were providing them with food varieties, milk, we are providing them with fish, we are giving them vegetables. And as part of that, because we knew the project was coming to an end, how are we going to sustain the project? So we supported them with other varieties or farm inputs that you are seeing part of it in this farm. The seeds are as a result of the support that we gave them. The fish we are seeing, the, the, the fish, we gave them some fishing kits and also the milk, we provided them with goats and even chicken, the, the other, other beneficiaries will see the poultry with laid eggs. So as a means of supporting them, all this we provided them as a nutrition component in all of it. Uh, since don donors give us what they have, and we come and give it to them, okay. I gave them the, the seeds that were available, and you can see right now, they have planted and the achievement is okay, and we are happy with that. And actually we have promised them whenever there is uh, more funding, We'll give them more seeds because we have seen the impact and we're happy about that. And uh, we're happy with the government of Jungle State actually. They have supported us and uh, the outcome is seen. According to NEAT assessment, Bor is an important commercial and humanitarian logisticals hub and the July 2016 fighting resulted in disruptions to key infrastructures that support livelihood destructions of some key markets and displacements of population in board with ripple effects across the neighboring counties at the height of the 2016 conflict in board an estimated 36000 people were displaced an estimated 15000 were displaced without adequate shelter food water or sanitation and hygiene facilities people that flew their homes in board 
lost both domestic and productive asset to lootings. According to the project's outcome, the project is believed to have helped the community and the beneficiaries are in need of more support in Chongkla State.